Today's video is going to be another fragrance haul. If you're interested in seeing the things that I've gotten recently, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, like I said, I have some fragrances to share with you that I've recently acquired. Half of these fragrances were sent to me via PR and half were purchased by myself. In this particular haul, I'm going to start out by store that I ordered them from or that they were sent to me from. And let's just go ahead and get into it. So we're going to start out with Max Aroma and Max Aroma reached out to me and they offered to send me some fragrances. And so I was very excited because I love getting fragrance mail. They didn't require me to make this video. They just sent them to me via PR, but I did want to share them with you. The fragrances that they sent me are from the brand Mask Milano, which I have never tried before. So I was very excited to try them. I have not opened any of these. So we are going to smell these first time together on camera. So this first fragrance is Tango by Mask Milano. And I love these boxes. This is my first time seeing any of the fragrances from this brand. Unfortunately, in my area, nobody sells them. <laughs> so I've never actually seen these, smelled these, nothing. So I, what I like about the box is, of course, it's beautiful, but it also has a perfumer's name down here. So this one is Cecile Zerokian. And then also on the back, they have all the notes for the fragrance. So let's open it up. So that's what the bottle looks like inside the packaging. Here is what it looks like. I do like these bottles. I not quite 100% sure about these tops. Like I like the bottles. They feel very substantial. They feel high quality. But to me, the top looks like a rubber stopper. <laughs> that doesn't matter too much, but I felt like I should share that because I'm not like crazy about the tops. But let's see how the fragrance smells. Okay, so this one is very spicy. It's spicy, it's a little bit smoky and woody, but it's also sweet. Mm, this smells actually really good. It's starting to warm up. It's not even on my skin, but on this paper, I feel like it's starting to settle and I really like it. I definitely think there may be some tobacco in this fragrance. I know the notes are on the box, but I try to just give you guys what I think of them without being influenced by the notes. You guys will always see the notes either here, here, or down here. I always put them, but I try to just smell what I smell and not be influenced by the notes. But I do really like this. It is definitely a deeper scent. This is not something I think I'll be wearing this summer, unless it's at nighttime. But honestly, this smells quite unisex. And I could definitely see my husband wearing this equally as well as I would be wearing this. I do really like it though. It is powerful. <laughs> so to sum it up, what I think I smell is a sweet and smoky, spicy tobacco scent, but there's definitely some sort of deep, dark wood in this fragrance as well. Very nice and quite unique. So I'm excited to have this. Unfortunately, I won't be wearing it anytime soon but I do really enjoy it. So again, that is Tango from Mass Milano. So this next fragrance that I have from Mass Milano is Lost Alice. And I went ahead and kind of lifted up the top a little bit because these are kind of hard to get off initially. So this is what the bottle looks like. So this one, the juice is more clear. So I expect it to be a lighter fragrance. I really don't remember why I picked these fragrances. So this is kind of a surprise. I have no idea like what they're supposed to smell like. <laughs> But let's go ahead and smell them. Okay, so this one smells like a tea fragrance. It is definitely a lighter fragrance than Tango. So it smells like tea. It smells a little bit powdery. Also, like there could be some florals in there, possibly iris or heliotrope, something kind of like soft and powdery and feminine. Yeah, I do really like this. Yeah, I really like this. It smells like a floral tea fragrance. Not sharp at all. Just all kind of well-rounded, a little bit powdery, very feminine. Yeah, this smells like a pretty elegant scent. So I definitely could see myself wearing this now and probably year-round. 
Smells just very ladylike in my opinion. So again, that is Lost Alice from Mask Milano. The last one from Mask Milano is Madeline, and this one is in a white box. So I definitely think this is going to be a lighter scent. So let's open it up. Now this bottle definitely looks better. This is more my speed. I guess even though it kind of has the same rubber stop looking top, I guess because it's in white, it just looks better. It's like a clean, almost like a statue or something. <laughs> But I do really like this bottle. And again, it's called Madeline. Let's see what it smells like. Now, this is the one that I think I initially thought of when I thought about Mass Milano. This, to me, is probably the most popular one. Uh, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this is more on the gourmand side. But let's see. Yes, definitely a gourmand. Well, gourmand leaning. Not necessarily fully edible. So to me, what I smell right off the bat is some sort of like almond toffee type smell. But there's also some sort of baked goods smell like a, like a croissant or a cookie that's not like overly sweet, like biscotti or something like that. Yeah, that's what it kind of smells like to me, like an almond biscotti. It's a little sweet, but not overly so. Kind of something you could eat with coffee. <laughs> but yeah, I do really like this. It doesn't smell too gourmand in my opinion. And in a way, I know I'm gonna sound crazy when I say this, but in a way, this kind of reminds me of Roja Sweetie Oo, just smelling off the paper. I don't know, once I wear it, it could be to totally different. But it kind of reminds me of that fragrance, but nowhere near as deep, nowhere near as spicy and take away the ooh chocolatey notes. So the pastry portion that's in Sweetie Ood smells like this fragrance in my opinion. It's really nice. I'm excited to wear this because I feel like I can wear this any time of the year. And although it's kind of like a gourmand type scent, because it's not sweet, I think I can even wear this on the hottest summer day. Okay, I really like this one. I'm excited to uh, try these out. So definitely a thank you to Max and Roma for sending these to me. I'm excited to try them. All of them seem like very nice fragrances and I think they're all gonna work well. Now, I also purchased some things from Max and Roma. One thing for me and one thing for my husband. So I'll go ahead and start with the one that I purchased for my husband and this is from Parfums de Marley. It is Haltain. Now this was not a blind buy. My husband and I actually smelled this in store at Neiman Marcus and I really liked it. I remember him really liking it when he smelled it. He didn't spray it on skin or anything like that but we did smell a bunch of fragrances. So honestly, he didn't even remember what he smelled but I remembered. <laughs> so I bought this for him. Uh, we recently went on a little staycation and I wanted him to have a new scent because <laughs> that's what I like to do so I bought this for him and he has already worn it and I still love it but this is what the bottle looks like and let's spray it on some paper because I've been smelling on him like all weekend I feel like he's worn this every day since he's had it um, but I haven't really smelled it on paper except for that one time in Neiman Marcus so okay so it's definitely a spicy scent there does smell like there is some oud in this fragrance if you've ever smelled oud for greatness from initio to me this fragrance smells like it has the same type of oud in it it kind of smells like it's that sweet saffron oud that's in oud for greatness now i don't think they're twins this one to me definitely smells more aromatic more fresh more appropriate for hot weather in my opinion and to me this definitely smells more masculine than oud for greatness now oud for greatness i think is a unisex scent but if i had to pick which way like feminine or masculine i would say it's probably more masculine than feminine but i wear oud for greatness myself so i love it i wouldn't wear haltane though i think the aromatic nature of this makes it smell more masculine to me like I don't know if there's sage in here or lavender or maybe even both, but that's what it smells like to me. Like a aromatic, fresh, bright, sweet, saffron type oud scent. <laughs> you definitely should go get your nose on this if you are interested, especially if you like oud for greatness. Go smell this. I'm really glad that I bought this for my husband because it smells amazing on him. And this thing is a beast, y'all. It is a beast. I don't know what Parfums de Marley is doing to their men's fragrances, but I feel like the men's line is just way more like beast mode than the women's line. 
definitely very long lasting very projecting and yeah you don't need a lot of this fragrance so again that is Haltane from Parfums de Marley the other fragrance that I got from Max Aroma is one that I purchased for myself and this has been on my wish list for a long time ever since I heard about it probably over a year ago but it's not really widely available so when I saw that Max Aroma was now carrying this brand I knew I was going to end up purchasing something from them so this is Profumum Roma Dolce Aqua so that's what the box looks like. Now I will say I've already opened this and I'm glad I did. Let me open it real quick so I could tell y'all why. All right, so I have the bottle sitting in here like this, but you may be able to tell that that's not how it came, right? So this is what the bottle looks like now, but when it came, it came with this top on it. So this is supposed to be like the transport top. So it had this top on it. And then it had this other top along with the atomizer inside the box for safe travels. It also came with a funnel and a little vial for you to take it with you when you travel, which I thought was very handy. The only problem I have with that is that whenever I get these things, I never know where to put them. And I feel like I just end up losing them, but it was a nice thought. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway I was so excited about this one I had to open it and try it so I have worn this one one time I wore it to bed and I have to say let's spray it on paper just refresh ourselves all right so I have to say this is not what I was expecting <laughs> this is an almond fragrance kind of smells like a sweet almond croissant type fragrance but it also has like this almost like a watery nature to it but the reason that i say it's not really what i was expecting is because i expected this to be more of a full fragrance this gets compared to italica by zerzhov which i absolutely love to me that fragrance smells a lot more edible than this one this one kind of has play-doh vibes to it not necessarily a bad thing but it's not really what I was expecting because so many people compare this to Italica and I disagree. I like Italica more, it's like spoiler alert. But I am going to keep playing around with this one. I do like it. I just had a vision in my mind of what I thought it was going to smell like and it doesn't really smell like that. So I do really like it. Let me, let me know if you have tried this fragrance, what you think about it. As of right now, I don't want to say it's a disappointment because it's not. I do like it. It's just not what I was expecting. Another thing that I want to know is these fragrances are quite oily. So I have heard that people actually rub these when they apply them. I didn't do that. I've only worn this one time. But this is not a brand that you probably want to spray on your clothes because it's quite oily. And it lasted all night. So I wore it to bed one night. I think I sprayed it on probably about two, three hours before I went to sleep and I can still smell it in the morning when I woke up. So really good staying power, not necessarily a beast in my opinion, not from the one time I wore it, but I definitely could smell it the entire time that I wore it. So not disappointed, just not what I was expecting. So again, that is Dolce Aqua from Perfumum Romo. So next up, I ordered a couple things from FragranceNet and I have not ordered from them in a long time. I used to order from them all the time, but then I just, you know, discovered different discounter sites or just other sites that I prefer ordering from. So I was on Instagram and Emmy Loves Fragrance posted a picture of a fragrance I have been wanting forever, but it's not really readily available in the US. And I felt like if I purchased it from like Harrods, I think it was available there. If I purchased it from there, I felt like it was too big of a risk because it's expensive. And the type of fragrance it is, I just wasn't gonna, I wasn't sure that it was gonna be completely worth it. And I knew I would not be able to return it. And I would have to pay that high shipping charge. So <laughs> anyway, uh, so I commented on Emmy's photo and somebody else commented saying where it was available and Emmy agreed that's where she got hers from and so I ordered mine. Long story short, I got Dolce & Gabbana Pineapple. So I have been wanting this since I saw these come out. 
Um, my girl AI the Great always talks about this, but I remember hearing about it first from, I don't remember her name. It's not somebody that I watch anymore, but I remember seeing her video and she was talking about the lemon one. And so I looked up this batch of fragrances and was obsessed, but couldn't really get them. So <laughs> I am super excited to have this. And the reason that I said I felt like it would be a risky blind buy to order it and pay full price from Harrods and shipping is because... I mean, look at the bottle. This is an Eau de Toilette, right? This looks like a fun, fruity summer scent that's not gonna have much bang to it. And so I didn't wanna be disappointed <laughs> because sometimes these fragrances for me can fall a little bit flat. Um, they're just not, you know, everything for me because I just feel like they don't last and whatever, whatever. But for the price that I got it for, I'm like, okay, I'll take the risk now. So let's smell it. <laughs> Now, this was a tester bottle, but it did come with the cap, which is a requirement for me, but it did not come with a box. So if you order it from FragranceNet, just know that's what you're going to get. So let's smell it. Okay, this smells really good, y'all. Very refreshing. Definitely pineapple. Sweet pineapple, but it's not overly sweet. It doesn't smell juvenile. It smells really sophisticated. It smells like a drink, but it also smells like there is something slightly green in this that's giving it a more like natural feel. I really like this, y'all. I, I, I really like this. Okay. I can already tell this is going to be a winner. I haven't worn it yet, so we don't know about lasting power or anything like that. But I think this is going to be my scent of the day. I have not sprayed a fragrance yet. I knew I was doing this haul, so yeah, I think I'm gonna wear this today. Oh, gosh, it smells really good. I, I'm i glad to have you in my collection, Dolce & Gabbana Pineapple. <laughs> yeah, this smells really, really good. Very easy going, very tropical and fun without smelling juvenile at all. So again, that is Dolce & Gabbana Pineapple. The other fragrance was 100% inspired by Miss AI The Great, um, my fellow Aisha here on YouTube. <laughs> but she did a video the other day and she was talking about mixing or her layering combination for Parfums de Marley Oriana. And I've actually been loving Oriana lately. So that video came right on time. And when she mentioned this other fragrance that she layered it with, I was like, I'm gonna do it because I knew it was inexpensive. I've looked at this fragrance before and I was slightly interested, but I was like, are you really gonna use that, Aisha? But anyway, it is Moschino Toy 2 Bubblegum. Yes. I got a teddy bear fragrance, y'all. I did it. Now, let me show y'all the bottle. This is what it looks like. I got the big boy only because it was like $10 more expensive than the much smaller version. So I just went ahead and got this one. <laughs> but it's so huge. Where am I gonna put this? Mm. Let's smell it. <laughs> Do y'all like these bottles? I like them in a way, like I think they're cute. It's not one that I would want to display like at the front of my collection, but it does kind of bring me a slight bit of joy to look at it. It's cutesy, but it's not looks looking at all, let's be honest. So let's see. Okay, this smells like bubble gum. A very sweet, powdery, old school bubble gum type smell, like hubba bubba or something, but very prominent, very juicy and sweet and fruity. I like this. I really like this. Now, I have heard that this fragrance goes on, smells like bubble gum, but then goes away very quickly. So, I don't expect this to last a long time, honestly. And that's one of the reasons that I never purchased it before. But because I was already ordering from FragranceNet and they had this for a really good price and I wanted it, I just went ahead and added it to the cart. But I'm not sure that I would have just ordered this on its own. Hopefully that makes sense. It does smell really good though, I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoy the way this smells. It smells very feminine, girly, very fun, very appropriate for summer. Yeah, I really like this so far. So I'll have to report back as to how it wears and that type of thing. But for me, when I buy a fragrance like this and I have the expectation that it's only gonna last me like two hours, I'm not disappointed if that's what happens because I already expect it. Hopefully that makes sense. So, But so far, I'm loving the way this smells, not gonna lie. Moschino Toy 2 Bubblegum. All right, and the last fragrance I have was sent to me PR from the House of Siage. I love this box. Look at this, y'all. 
this is the box it came in. Now, I already unwrapped it from like the outer box, which was just like a regular cardboard box, a shipping box. But inside of there was just this. So I have not actually opened this yet, but this is their brand new fragrance. Let's open it up. So that's what it looks like inside. And this is Passion de l'Amour Nouvelle Liaison. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. So I love the original Passion de l'Amour, which is in the Cupcake by House of Siage. I've heard that one of the fragrances packaged in the men's bottle smells like that, like it's exactly the same, but I don't know that for sure. But this is a brand new fragrance that they released that's supposed to be part of the Passion de l'Amour line. So I'm not sure if they'll be coming out with other Passion de l'Amour fragrances, but this is the one that they have out right now. So let's open it up and the bottle is absolutely gorgeous. This is the flask bottle. At least it looks like a flask to me, which is for the men's collection. So more than likely this is going to my husband. I already told him about it, <laughs> but I wanted to open it and smell it for myself and just see what I thought about it. But this is probably gonna be for my husband, so. Just in case you're wondering, because I just had a little bit of a hard time with opening this bottle, it has a button there, push it, and it pops open. <laughs> That's really cool. So let's go ahead and smell it. Okay, this smells like Passion de L'Amour. Yeah. Yeah, it's changing though. So Passion de L'Amour, if you've never smelled that, to me it's kind of a deep, smooth, oud fragrance, but it has like these caramel notes to it, like a sweetness to it. And it also has something that kind of smells like some sort of tropical fruit. So to me, this definitely has that same type of smooth, kind of smoky oud scent, but it also smells leathery, like there's leather and oud, and there's also some brightness to it. Maybe like, probably like bergamot or lime or something like that, but probably bergamot is not, this is not a sweet fragrance. This definitely smells masculine to me, but it smells amazing. Like, <sighs> I really like this. I really, really like this. It also smells like there could be some ginger or some sort of spice that's similar to ginger in this. Honestly, it's kind of reminding me of Oud for Happiness by Initio. Yeah, it's kind of reminding me of that, but this one is more masculine than that. This one has more of a leather touch, but I feel like the scent profile is quite similar to Oud for Happiness by Initio, which I wear myself. So yeah, this, this is good y'all. This is good. I think it's too masculine for me, in my opinion, but this is going to be great for my husband. Like I can already see us stepping out for a hot date night. I'm wearing Pache de L'Amour. He's wearing the new version, <laughs> Nouvelle Liaison. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah. Like, can you, can you see that? Yeah. These will go very well together, like as a couples type fragrance. Definitely. I really like this. This is, the more I smell it, the more I keep wanting to smell it. I really like this. And I'm not saying that just because they sent this fragrance to me. This is amazing. I just don't want to wear it myself, but I feel like if my husband wears this, it's going to be one that I want to like keep smelling on him. I love this. Ooh, okay. All right, Nate, you got you a new fragrance. All right. Nate is my husband, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, I love this. I'm very excited for him to wear this. And I think this is one you should get your nose on, especially if you're a man. And if you are a woman who loves Passion de L'Amour and you have a boo thing, check this out for them, okay? This is really amazing. I love it. So again, thank you to House of Siage for sending this to me. This is Passion de L'Amour Nouvelle Liaison. So that was my haul. Thank you so much to Max Aroma and to House of Siage for sending those fragrances out to me. I think we did pretty well here. I'm very excited about the fragrances that I got. The only one I'm on the fence about is Dolce Aqua, but we're going to work that one out. We're going to work it out. I feel like me and her are going to be able to make it work, <laughs> so don't be worried, y'all. But everything else I feel like is going to be 
it for me. It's going to be it for me. So I'm actually on a no buy this month, July. All the fragrances that I actually purchased in this video, I actually purchased in June. You will see a couple more videos from me for new fragrances that I have not received yet, but they were purchased in June, not July, okay? July is a no buy fragrance month for me just because I feel like I've gotten so many fragrances recently that I just really need to take time to wear them and stop buying new ones. So I'm gonna try to do a no buy for July. Probably not August because like I talk about fragrances, so I need new fragrances. That's just the way of the content creator. <laughs> so, but for July, I think I will take a break from purchasing fragrances. If you guys have tried any of the fragrances that I mentioned here today, let us know what you think of them down below. And if you've gotten a new fragrance recently, let us know that down below in the comments as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure you're subscribed and that you have your notification bell on so that you don't miss a video from me. Also, if you're not already following me on Instagram, please go ahead and do that as well. We always chit chat and talk over there, especially in my stories or in my DMs. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.